Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick here, and in today's video I'm going to answer a question that I've been getting on a few of my videos, and that's talking about how I got this right down here. This little annotation with my logo on it that lets me click on it, and it takes me to my channel page. So I've been getting a frequent amount of questions on it on an older video of mine via this suggestion here. This would make a good video, and I thought that I would just touch base on exactly how to do it just in case that you guys don't know. So it's actually really simple to do, but unfortunately you have to be a YouTube partner to go ahead and do this because there's no other way to do it unless you're partnered. So if you're not partnered, you will not be able to do this. Sorry about that. So that being said, in order to do this, you need to go to your video manager. Once you're in there, you need to go to your channel settings. And once you're there, you need to go to in video programming. And that essentially allows you to either put a little clickable channel icon in the bottom, and you can even feature a video across all of your videos if you want to. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click remove. And that essentially just removed that annotation. So it should look like this when you first try to set this up. So we're going to click on feature your channel and that will feature your channel icon. Now, as you can see here, it chooses the default icon for your channel. So as you can see, it's my little profile picture that I have right there, but I want to change that to my logo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the customized icon down here. I'm going to choose a file. I'm going to go to the desktop and I'm just going to choose my logo. And once that uploads, I click select. And as you can see, it has the logo and you can choose the position. I'm gonna choose the bottom right hand corner and I'm gonna make it display through the entire video. Once that's done, I'll click on save. And once it saves, as you can see, now it's set and we can change it from here if we want to. And you can set up any of these other options if you want to as well. But once we do that, if I go back to one of my videos, as you can see, we have that little annotation right there and we click on that and that will bring us to our channel page. So that's essentially how to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial and I hope that answered your question. Um, name who escapes me at the moment. So yeah, thank you for watching and goodbye.